as, as various segments of the commercial market are consistently looking at ways to verify, to improve their identity verification processes before offering their products and services to consumers. And as such, they're looking at, more specifically, looking at ways to verify the attributes on a driver's license or an ID card in real time against the source of the data, the issuing agency, meaning the jurisdiction. And, that, and that's exactly what DLDB does. It offers those commercial partners and government agencies the capability in real time to verify the attributes of a driver's license or an ID card. So it's, it's the opportunity for a person that needs further verification other than just the, the presentation, the credential, that we actually have a record uh, that exists and actually matches the information that the person provided. Uh, and so, you know, if I really boiled it down, I would say it's adding extra value and security uh, for the person that's requesting that information. Our commercial partners are always looking at new ways to improve the processes and the products they have to verify that someone is who they say they are, mainly to com combat identity theft, curb uh, documentation fraud, and importantly from our jurisdiction members' perspective, they want to protect the integrity of the credential that they'll be issuing as well. So simply, a, if you or I to walk into a uh, retail establishment or a bank, for example, we present our uh, identification, the bank or the retailer then has the uh, authorization to present that card to have the data on the card verified. So they run that through a system they built with a gateway partner, AMBA's gateway partner, who then turns uh, that information over to AMBA. AMBA in turn, uh, ver translates that data and gets the information back from the jurisdiction. We then return a match, no match indicator by the attributes submitted from the uh, requester. And that's important to note. And one of the things we were careful about is we're not returning active information to somebody that doesn't have that information. All we're returning is a yes or no on whether or not the information they already have that's already been presented to them by the customer matches information we have. So we really think that that minimizes the privacy concern and again, just returns value and security. Yeah, to date we have commitments from, I believe, 14 different jurisdictions. And we have all, basically all the jurisdictions reviewing participation. And it's important to have all our jurisdictions participate. We want to be able to offer a national footprint. The customers that we're talking to are large national corporations, in addition to several regional who would expect them to be able to roll out a national product. It's, it's easy for the jurisdictions to participate, and that's by design. Part of, we conducted a pilot program over a, uh, over a one year period. Part of that pilot was to understand when can AMBA develop such a system, but more importantly, to confirm the ease of use on the jurisdiction side. We didn't want to create a, a system that was complicated to implement. So on the jurisdiction side, it's really uh, really leveraging an existing transaction that AMBA does with the jurisdictions today. A simple uh, change to their site table on their side and some t about a week's worth of testing from our side and they're in business participating in the program. And again, that was by design and the pilot did confirm that it was that easy to get set up to participate in the program. It's very easy and it's using platforms and, and network uh, connections that already exist uh, and so you're really leveraging something you've already invested.